Today we've cracked out the bad boy, the old rotary, something that I'm not really used to using, so used to the reel, but had to crack it out because I've had so much rain over the past week, so the ground is sopping wet. So today, let's get into this mo and just enjoy some time with the fam. Right, so today the lawn is a little bit overgrown because we've had so much rain, haven't mowed this in a bit over a week. So, today we're gonna get this mowed, but we're gonna use the rotary mower today, which is gonna be a little bit odd, so let's get into it. Oh, what up, welcome to another lawn tip Good synchronization. <laughs> right, let's get straight into it. The ground is a little bit moisty. Nah, it's not too bad. Um, so we're gonna get the rotary out, cut it away. The only reason I'm using the rotary today is because real mowers don't go very well when they're, they're cutting too much off. Now, I could technically raise the height of cut up, but Let's use the rotor, we haven't used it in ages. Nice day too. Oh well, it's like 10 degrees, but it's nice enough. Please get away from the tomatoes. Thank you. Ah, no tomatoes for you. Isla, Isla. No tomatoes. No tomatoes, please. So here's the bush ranger I'm using here. Um, this is a battery start one, so the only downside for this mower for me personally is because you know how got bad I am with batteries, you guys. Is it doesn't have a full start, so if you don't charge the battery, you can't mow. Um, but it's, it's been a good mower for me so far. Um, basically, all that I need in a rotary mower. It's not self-propelled, which is fine. Um, it does the job. It has a pretty crispy cut. Now we'll figure out what height we want to cut it first. So let's see how long the lawn is first, and then we'll go from there. All right, Louie, can you measure the lawn for me? Give it a measure, man. What's it say? Two. Summer at, yeah, summer at 20 mil. You're right in the way of the camera, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so some blades are at 20 mil, some are sitting at 30 mil. Hmm. Three centimeters. So we're gonna take some grass off today. So we'll set this to round about, we'll set it to 20 mil, this mower here, and cut it off like that, which I'm pretty sure it's actually already set to 20 mil, so let's go. I think we load the morn. We're going to load the morn. <laughs> the morn. <laughs> 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 Tried it on the lower setting. It actually looks pretty good, not really scalping. So I might use it on the lower setting, which is at the height would be. You got the tape measure there, Louis? So that is cutting now at 16, 17 mil. Which we're fine. That'll be fine. So let's. You want it? Here you go. Alright, let's keep mowing. Do you like the grass? Eh. Yeah. So that's the backyard done now. Is anyone else having problems with worm castings at the moment? It is getting ridiculous. Like, they're making a mess everywhere. So frustrating. That's another reason why I used the rotor mower today, so it didn't get squished down by the roll on the cylinder mower. But look at this. They're going crazy, especially up around the house. 
Wham poopies everywhere. So yeah, another reason why I'm using the rodeo today, just so it doesn't squish it down. Um, I could rake it out if I really wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it. Hopefully the grass pushes through that and then we'll be sweet. But yeah, I'll keep using that rotary while there's that much worm castings around. It's mostly near the house where it's the most wet. That's where they tend to do their damage. Not really any worm castings around here. But we haven't had a sunny day in like a week. It's been like this, all raining. So, you know, the grass will push through when the temps come up a bit and the wind goes and the moisture disappears. It does look pretty good. I mean, the old rotary never does a good job like the real mower does. Like it does leave slightly looking scout patches. Oh, not really actually. That's just a new seed. It's come up with light green patches. So it's pretty good. It's done a pretty decent job. Holding good color still, mate. Tell you what. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty happy with it. So this is about the height of cut I was at before anyway, so we'll just keep it at this. Next mile I'll do, I'll just use the real mower again. Um, unless there's still heaps of worm castings around, so I don't want to be squishing them into the ground. One thing they will promise, they're building you a farm. If only you had seen, they won't leave the truth alone. And now you can see the world, but you're blinded by the light Leading you from reason And straight into the night Now don't believe him He's a liar and a sugar coater Just wait until break of dawn Say what you have to say But don't forget to leave the motor on Out of fuel. You're joking. I had that much lawn left. I'm out, I'm out of fuel. I've got, got none left in the shed. No! One strip. That has to be a joke, right? I wonder if Matt's got any fuel. Yo, bro. Do you have any fuel? <laughs> I've got one strip left and I've got no fuel left. <laughs> Look at that, that's nothing. That's all I've got left. Thanks, Brian. I need like a smidge. Nah, a little smidge one. <laughs> Literally one, <laughs> one little strip. Uh, Silly boy. That's it, all I needed. That's enough, my poor green's gonna come back. It's a bit cold now, now The temperature's cooled down. So Right, so all done, so looks pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Still, obviously I do love the real mower a lot more, but this thing still does a schmickeroo job. I always, I do need to use that mower when I need to clean up like that. If it's either wet, like it was today, or it's a little bit long, because the old real mower doesn't seem to, you know, that's just what real mowers are like. They're made for cutting your lawn every couple of days, or at least once a week, whereas this got away with a week and a half. Because we had so much rain, we, got, we ended up getting about 80, 80 something mil over the whole week which was really really good we needed it here in orange but yeah thanks guys so much for watching um i'll get into these garden beds soon um i got some fungus disease out the front in the tiff tuff so i'll have a video on that soon i've already recorded it just need to edit it but um yeah thanks guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next vid yes the garden beds are going to be done soon i've got some plans for them just waiting for some stuff to turn up so i'm going to try some stuff in here um, but yeah, since we had rain, the weeds have gone even more crazy. But yeah, I'm just going to put down some like black soil in these garden beds, make them a bit more natural. But there's so much ryegrass in there. All my plants came back too after the drought. Yes! These are looking a bit overgrown. These are beautiful though, these things. I'm about to die though.
Ew. 